Hello viewers, welcome to my lesson on multiplication patterns. And before I take you through, you need to understand what a pattern is. A pattern is a list of numbers that follow a certain order or a certain sequence. A, a pattern is a list of numbers that follow a certain order or a certain sequence. So we need to understand that there is always a rule that is followed when you are writing uh, number patterns. So our lesson today will be on multiplication patterns. That is patterns involving multiplication only. Let's go straight to my first example. What is the next number in the pattern? What is the next number in the pattern? Our pattern consists of 6, 12, 18, 24. This dash means we need to identify the next pattern in this uh, question. The next number in this pattern, sorry. So, uh, we need to identify the rule. Before identifying the next number, we need to identify the rule that has been followed to write these numbers. So for us to get 6, 6 must have, uh, must have been multiplied by 1 to get the number itself. For us to get 12, we multiply 6 times 2. For us to get 18, we multiply 6 times 3. For us to get 24, we multiply 6 times 4. So it follows without, it goes without saying that for us to get the next number, we are going to multiply 6 times 5. Because it seems that 6 has been multiplied by 1, 2, 3, like that in ascending order. So 6 times 5 is 30. So our next number in the pattern 6, 12, 18, 24 will be 30. You can get as many numbers as you can in the pattern. But for our case today, we only need one next number. I have another example here with me. What is the next number in the pattern? 7, 14, 28, 56. So uh, for us to get the next number here, 14, 7 was multiplied by 2 to get 14. To get 28, 14 was multiplied times 2. To get 56, 28 was multiplied by 2. So, uh, we, when you look at the sum there, we are able to identify the rule that has been followed. So, it seems that for us to get the next number, we multiply the previous number by 2. For us to get 14, we multiply the 28, we multiply the previous number, which is 14, times 2. So, uh, for our case here, 56, it means that for us to get the next number here, we are going to multiply 56 times 2. Why? 7 times 2 gives us 14. 14 times 2 gives us 28. 28 times 2 gives us 56. So 56 again times 2, we are going to get the next number. And here it, it is. 56 times 2 gives us 112. So our next number in the pattern 7, 14, 28, 56 will be 112. Like I've said, you can get as many numbers as you can in a particular pattern. But remember, our today's lesson or patterns are only involving multiplication. Thank you for watching my lesson. Hope you understood and goodbye.